Well, it is beyond exasperating that we're back into this phase of the pandemic, back to trying to figure out what this virus is capable of. We do want to try to answer some of your questions. First, there's some new modeling from Imperial College London today, which used data from England, and it shows Omicron largely evades immunity from past infection or two vaccine doses. It estimates risk of reinfection from Omicron is more than five times greater than that of the Delta variant, and that implies any protection afforded by past infection may be as low as 19 percent. And vaccine effectiveness is between zero to 20 percent after two doses, between 55 to 80 percent after a booster dose. That study not been peer reviewed yet. With me from Halifax is Dr. Lisa Barrett, an infectious disease and human immunology expert. Dr. Barrett, thanks for being here. You know, we thought getting double vaxxed was going to get us out of this. Omicron is a game changer. What is the single best thing Canadians can do now? Well, believe it or not, the single best thing Canadians can still do is get vaccinated. Even though you presented those numbers, there are still variants of other types around. And you know what? 55 to 80 percent protection and probably about that amount from death and hospitalization is still a heck of a lot better than not being vaccinated. And so right now, vaccination is the key thing layered in with a little bit of moderation for our upcoming holidays. Two good things for Canadians to do. And getting that third dose especially is what's key right now. For sure, if you have access to a third dose, that's very important. I want people to understand, though, very clearly that we have a whole toolbox and, and there are wins compared with this time last year going into the holidays. We have a toolbox now that we can use that includes booster doses or third doses of vaccine. It includes knowing that masking, ventilation and some distance work, as well as keeping things outdoors where possible and also testing where it's available can help us to fill in the gaps when we don't have immediate access to boosters. So lots of things you can do in the meantime to keep yourself safe as you go forward. Pfizer-BioNTech said today its vaccine failed to produce a potent immune response in children aged two to five, and they are now going to test a third dose. We're not vaccinating kids that young in Canada yet, but does this mean the possibility of that is even further away? Two to five year olds are a little different from an immune perspective and we'll get it right. It's just not quite there yet. So a little more time before we're going to probably have access to those vaccines for those folks. All right. Here's a question from a viewer. Who should worry the most about Omicron right now? Well, um, the information we have is limited and still coming through. Uh, there have been lots of almost rumors that this is not as uh, important or severe a disease, and we're not quite certain about that. So right now, the best advice is presume that you may be susceptible uh, to this, to getting this infection. And if you're someone who, just like before, has complex medical disease, immune suppression, uh, you're being treated for another cancer, um, and or that you have underlying lung disease or uh, an elevated um, body weight, those are things you might want to keep in mind. And those might still be risks for more severe disease. So short answer, we don't quite know about Omicron yet. Uh, so in the worst case scenario, let's presume that those folks are still at higher risk and keep some extra parts of your toolbox around for prevention while we're figuring that out. And just super quick last question, follow up. When will we know with certainty whether Omicron leads to mild or serious illness? Excellent question. I'm dying to find out myself. There are emerging pieces of information from other countries that have seen more of this Omicron for longer, but it is a bit of a time game. We need to see in the real world what happens with people who are vaccinated with the vaccines that we use here in Canada. And right now, we don't know, but over the next three to four weeks, I think we're going to gain a heck of a lot more information and we'll be much better armed in the new year to know exactly what's going on. Prudence until then and no presumption. All right, Dr. Lisa Barrett, thank you.